I got this reverse coloring book off Amazon, and like most things in the genre, it plays on the visual. But unlike most, it juxtaposes it with a playfully vibrant watercolor aesthetic. It's a perfect contrast to the black inks, bold lines, and shading I employ. I had not a clue as to where I was going with this piece. Mm -hmm. I knew I wanted to draw a bow on there. Mm -hmm. Then I looked at what appeared to be a hole for a nose and decided that could easily be turned into a mouse nose mm -hmm. and well, it spiraled into a grotesque demented uh, mini mouse with hints of Pennywise the clown which I didn't really intend, but sort of started becoming apparent towards the end of this uh, drawing. Now, the copics I used played wonderfully with the paper. I didn't no notice any bleeding or anything like that, but I do suspect because of the makeup of the paper, it has that feel that it might suck the ink dry. Other than that, it did all right. Now, when I did get to using uh, Posca's on this, you could tell that the paper was absorbing a ton of the moisture. So if you have pens or anything, markers that you're gonna use with it, just be aware you're probably gonna suck them dry. Now, this was a fun one. I looked at the ghost and they kind of reminded me of Sherbert. They kind of looked like they were melting. So I decided I was gonna run with that. As always, I grabbed one of my smaller pens and did my initial pass of ink, trying to figure out where all my lines were gonna fall and stuff like that so I could go in later with a thicker pen and kind of clean it up. Running with the Sherbert theme, I decided to draw good humor popsicle sticks in there. After staring at it for a bit, I put an eye in the background. Don't know why, just did. Made it kind of melty as well. Can't tell you why, just did it. So after I got done with this second pass of ink where I kind of added in all my line weights and stuff like that and refined the drawing a little more, I decided I would go with the prior style of shading I used in the previous reverse coloring book and do like that real squiggly, messy line work. I really liked the way it looked and I thought it would work really well on this one. So that's where, that's the direction I went in and I absolutely do not regret it. Now the eye, I had, didn't have any plans for it until I started doing it. I looked up some images and I thought something with like, kind of like these fire type things coming out of the center might look cool. This cracked stone work look is kind of where I ended up and I'm happy with it. I'm surprised it came out as well as it did. I hope you like the art that's in this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments down below. If you want to see more like this, let me know and I'll be more than happy to do more books like this. It's a lot of fun. It's a good creative exercise. It's good practice. I'll see you in the next one.